Welcome to another Singing Seguro tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use Active Directory as an authentication server in Singing Seguro applications. This integration has a few requirements. You need to have a registered domain controller and the right credentials for the service account. Let's start validating the domain controller. Go to Devices and make sure that you have added your domain controller and that it can connect to the LDAP ports 389 and 636. Here is the credential that will be used as a service account. Mine is named LDAP Sync. And having these two elements, we can get started. First, go to Settings and choose Providers under Authentication. Clear all filters and the platform will list all servers compatible with Sansegura. I'll then choose to enable the LDAP provider here. And now I can add an authentication server. On the left hand side, go to Servers. The application has a default server that you can use as kind of a template if you want. However, in this video, I'll create a new server from scratch. On the upper right corner, click the Action button and choose New. First of all, you have to add a host. Use either your server's host name or IP address. And an LDAP port. Then choose the authentication credential used by your service account. Mine, as you know, is LDAP Sync. DN stands for Distinguished Name of the Entire Domain. If you don't know your DN, you can find it in the root of the Active Directory. Right click it to go to Properties. Then go to the Attribute Editor tab. Scroll down to Distinguish Name, copy the displayed value, and paste it to this field in Sinasegura. Select Main as your account form, and type in the name of your domain in Account Domain. Mine is singasegura.local And finally, its short name. At the bottom, change the order to 1 to prioritize the use of this server and save it. Done. To prevent any future problems, don't forget to disable the default server. Just click to edit it, change Enabled to No and save it. Oh, it will ask me to select a credential. I'll choose any just to save it. And here we go. Having done that, let's run an authentication test on my main server. Again, click the Action button, then Test Authentication. For the test, you can use any user whatsoever in the domain as long as you know their password. I'll use the LDAP Sync user I showed you earlier. Then type my password. Great! It was successfully authenticated. Now, the only thing left to do to sync all your AD users to Singasegura is to create a sync group that the platform can use to collect data from your Active Directory. Under Settings and Authentication, choose 
Group Synchronization. Singa Segura also has a default template for group synchronizations. This time I'll only edit this one to speed the process. I can keep the default name, but other attributes require some changes. First, choose the server. Enable synchronization. And paste the distinguished name from the previous screen here as well. AD Query brings the path used by Sensegura to search for users in your Active Directory. You can keep the first half of this path and change only the path to the group you want to synchronize with. By adding the group's distinguished name, once again, right-click it to go to Properties, access the Attribute Editor tab, copy the distinguished name, and paste it to Singa Segura. I'll paste it within the pre-populated query. On the Roles tab, you can establish which permissions are going to be granted to this user in Singa Segura. Let's say, in this case, I'd like all users who come from this group to be assigned as administrators. I'll choose the System Administrator role. And having done that, we can move on to the Access groups, where we decide which credentials can be accessed within Singasegura. Since these are admins, they should have full access. I'll check the user box and save the settings. Done, don't forget to run a synchronization test. Click the Simulate button. And here you go. You can see that the LDAP Sync user will be created as soon as synchronization is complete. Wait for a couple of minutes to validate this information. You will find it under Synchronized Users. And here it is. Another way to validate it is to go to User Management and Users. And here it is again. Thank you for watching.